Trimmer is out in Mortal Kombat 1, the first of many DLC cameos, and this character is absolutely ridiculous. Trimmer has more moves than I have fingers. I swear to God, every time I fight a Trimmer, it's like I'm fighting two characters at once. It's like Mortal Kombat 9 tag team. But, fret not, my friend. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Trimmer yourself, how to use him with any character in the game, and how to get the most out of your combat pack purchase. First things first, the most important thing that you must do when you get Trimmer is go into practice mode. This is obviously very important for every other cameo, but Trimmer is like Shujinko levels of hard if you're not knowing what you're doing. Like this character has so many different moves, you're gonna need to go into training and you're gonna need to find out what they do. Now luckily for you, I'm here to showcase what the moves do in a simpler state so you can just kind of get a little gist of what's going on. Um, you start off in the Aftershock variation, right? And from this, you have four different moves, right? You can do uh, Stance Change, which changes to his stances. More on that later. You can do Back RB, which is a little low. This move is good. It is uh, unsafe, so be careful while throwing it out mid block strings. This move is incredible uh, for mix-ups. We will go over that in the, a little bit later. But throwing this move out on its own, I wouldn't recommend it very often just due to the fact that um, you're you're kind of stuck here during this whole animation and like I said it's very unsafe so be careful using this move um, the forward punch this little forward RB cameo is really great forward cameo is really great for block strings because as you can see here it is minus five and has Mongo pushback. They get sent back an hour away, dog. I'm talking about they get sent to Montreal. The fucking time, sh the, the time zone shifts when you hit them with this move. They're so far back that you can literally just throw it out there. Like when I'm playing Omni Man, I love to throw it out after this because that little low is unsafe. Now, bro, he's sent halfway across the stratosphere. I can I can launch myself at him. And most people, for some reason, when they're this far, they feel like they can press buttons. If you have a move that can get to them, press it. Just press it. If you if you see them pressing buttons after that, get to them. Um, they they're usually not be expecting it. They usually go for a forward dash. They usually go for something. You you just gotta. That's kind of more of a strategy thing. Um, the way I use this move is really just for the block string though. I don't I, I don't use this move too often unless I'm unsafe. Uh, let's go to the the real kicker of this move set. This little launcher. This little launcher is really good, dude. It gives access to any character who doesn't have a base launcher in their kit. They have a launcher now. And um, it's it's really nice. So, for example, Omni-Man with his base combos, let's say you hit a 2-2. You have to go into one of these, right? You have to go into one of these. You get like 33%, not bad at all. But at the end of the day, we know we can do more. Now with Trimmer, now that I have a little launcher... I can do a lot more with this combo because Omni-Man doesn't have a base launcher in his own kit from that. Um, now I get 37% no bar, just one cameo bar. One cameo bar, zero meter. That's really good. That is really good. Um, especially for a character like Omni-Man, for characters who don't have their own launchers, Trimmer Aftershock variation is really good. Now let's go over his other stance, Metallic. Metallic is the range stance. You're gonna be using this stance very often when they are, you know, far away from you. Uh, all of the moves are kind of range based. You have this little back RB, back cameo. It's a low, a little low projectile. This move is great for um, just catching people off guard because if you hold it, it becomes an overhead. Now, the overhead really only hits from full screen unless you're very smart and you hit it from some crazy angle. But the overhead is kind of hard to hit. This is like a, a, a very slow full screen mix up. Um, you can throw one of these. You can throw one of these out. And like, let's say I'm playing someone like Omni Man, right? I can throw one of these out, go teleport behind him, and get, get some setup from there. Um, these moves are great um, when it comes to just throwing some projectiles out there. I think that this is his best projectile, like in general at all, is just this little back uh, thingy. It's really good for. It's really good. The low specifically is really good for covering distance and keeping them off the ground or on the ground. Uh, and if they decide to start jumping that, you can always hold it, knock them down with the overhead, or just, like I said, full screen mix up. We also have forward RB with this. Um, it kind of hits them up a little bit. 
Uh, if you decide to do the stance switch into that, you can go for combos. But like I said, we haven't got into that yet. And that is a very important part of Tremor's kit that we're going to go over in a second. Um, that move is okay. I, I've, I almost find myself never using this move, to be honest. But one, one good thing about it that is kind of not talked about too much is the fact that it is uh, plus four on block. So there's a huge gap. But if you manage to hit this, you're plus four. You can go for your pressure. You, you can do whatever you want from that. It's pretty decent. Now, another good thing that uh, Tremor has from uh, Metallic is the anti-air. The anti-air is pretty good. They're in the air. You just hit them out of it. Just like that. Let me let me have him jump at me real quick. Oh, whoops. Let me have him jump at me real quick. And then let me just do one of these. Oh, gosh. Hit him out of the air. Pretty good, right? It's a nice little anti-air. It, ha it has a lot of range. It's kind of hard to not get hit by this. If, if you can predict someone's jump and you throw this out there, you're probably going to hit them, like, realistically. Yeah. Like, the it's a really good anti-air. Um, that's really all for the metallic variation. Let's go over for his final variation, Crystal. So this this move only, or this variation only has two moves. Armor, which takes a very long time to come out, but is in my opinion, kind of underrated. And uh, Deflect. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over Deflect. This move's okay. It's very slow. I almost never use this move. I feel like I get hit by projectiles faster than it comes out. I can't even react in time. Like I, I have to preemptively throw this move out to react to a projectile. Um, so in that sense, it's not the best. The armor, however, I use this move always. Like when I'm not doing one of Cam Trimmer's, um, one of one of his ambush assist cancels, I am always using the armor. Especially, I do this little setup with Omni-Man where they can't really do anything from it. Um, I will try to set up this armor because it, it's so good. Like, the fact that I can just land, I, I'm not able to get comboed now. I, I can throw out unsafe stuff, and if you, you, can, you can try to hit me with something, but and you will hit me with it, but it won't combo me. And while I'm not able to just, like, punish you for everything, it gives this air of safety that is just so disgusting. And it's really hard for people to deal with who don't know how to deal with it. Um, I, yeah, like I said, I like to use the armor very often during that setup. During this stuff, I'll do the armor, I'll just set it up right here, and then I can go in for, like, an overhead, my low, I'm safe here, technically, because they can't combo me. It's a lot of really interesting stuff. Let's go over the real meat and potatoes of Trimmer now. The thing that turns Trimmer from an okay cameo to an absolute beast, and a, one of the hardest cameos in the game. Trimmer, if you do a stance switch... You can immediately do one of the moves from the stance that you just switched into. Let's say I'm Crystal. I can do a uh, switch into the rock variation aftershock and do with the forward punch. So I'm in Crystal line right now. Switch, forward punch. If you saw, it takes my entire cameo bar, right? It takes the entire cameo meter. Let me go on uh, default. It takes the entire cameo meter. But I can move during it. I can move freely during this. So that already, as you can see, that is already one of the uh, implications of this. I can go ahead and just overhead low set up this guy from full screen. I can go ahead, if I'm, if I'm in crystalline, right? I can go ahead and go for the low right here and go for stuff like that. that I'm going to go ahead and preface. That is what a lot of Tremor players have been doing, and it is disgusting. It's not the best on characters like Omni-Man because um, he doesn't have the best overhead to count combo it into, but this is disgusting. If you hit the low on somebody, like when they're just sitting there, um, all three come out. So you can hit them with an overhead, and you can you can time it however you want. You can, you can just mix them up. So disgusting with this move. This is the move that I recommend um, doing the cameo cancel into the most and the stance cancel into the most if you have a mix-up character another really good move that i've seen a lot of people uh canceling into for for the mix-ups is that back metallic projectile because you can still hold it still go for overhead low setups you can still go for those overhead low setups it is it is crazy dude uh, you can combo from that now. It, it is, it turns Trimmer from kind of like a slow, sluggish character to 
really he can do anything he'd like um it takes a full bar but he has so many different options it's just so risk reward with this character one final thing i'd like to go over is um with the metallic variation you can uh go on ahead and uh or sorry not with the metallic variation really any variation um you can either press rb and switch to the next one or you can press down rb and go back so you can go back and forth you can you can pick right i'm an aftershock i want to be in crystalline now i'm in crystalline i'm in crystalline i want to be an aftershock now i'm an aftershock or now i'm in metallic you can you can go ahead and go backwards or forwards depending on what, what button you press which <clears throat> is is very good for these little setups as long as you're not in the variation that you're trying to use the move for you should be set and really with a character like omni man you can do that so easily in the start of your combo that you can go ahead and just switch multiple times mid combo like realistically realistically you can switch multiple times mid combo it's pretty nice it's pretty nice it, it, it gives a lot of freedom to trimmer and, and it has the ability to do all these things now like i said let's go ho let's go ahead and go over the best strategies i would uh recommend using with trimmer online uh like i said if you don't have a launcher this is great get extra combo damage for one bar you don't have to do any of the fancy shenanigans it's just a very good move uh this once again you set it you set up into it i think it's kind of underrated very good move the armor is awesome i love setting up into it because they can't hit you anymore and now i'm just safe my favorite thing to do with the armor on personally they'll usually be blocking a lot someone like Audi man where i can just keep pressuring them pressuring them if i get the armor on me right if i get the armor on me what i would what i love to do is go for my one two pressure where i'm just safe over and over and then go for throws they're so scared to press any button because if they press a button it doesn't touch me I get staggered for a second but they're scared and another thing i like to do uh, with the armor on is use super unsafe moves over and over is it dumb yes is it funny yes i love doing it it's it's honestly i think it's a decent strategy with a move like omni man or the character like omni man because uh if you make some like viltrumite stance they they really can't touch you the low and the overhead those don't counter you anymore not anymore they used to not anymore so that that is really good um and then like i said obviously uh comboing with this is decent even even when you use a even when you use it as an ambush it is no longer unsafe so you can keep going for pressure even if he doesn't even if they find it find a way to block it and if they don't block it there's three lows coming their way so um this is this from what i've seen is the best usage of that of the full bar usage um is just to get that low out i haven't seen too many other other people using moves like this this is this is great for armor breaks this is great for stuff like that but um really the way that you play trimmer is find the variation that suits your character the best for me i for i'm playing omni man right now i personally think that the variation that soups omni man the best is aftershock because of this launcher um that i get from it so i'm gonna stay in aftershock right i'm gonna stay in aftershock and if i want to do anything else what i'm gonna do is is i'm going to switch out of aftershock now i'm in crystal right boom i get both my uh launch and my armor in the same combo which is incredible and then i switch back to aftershock to make sure that i have my little launcher to make sure i get those full damage combos and i kind of just that's how i that's how i like to play trimmer i like to find what my character the character that i'm playing what is their best synergy with trimmer which variation can i use the most of his moves on and then i i'd stay on that variation and i i switch between the two uh, I switch. I usually just switch between two the whole time. Um, yeah, that that that's the one way I would recommend playing Trimmer is find the variation that suits your character, stick to it, and find moves outside of the variations that work with your character best. For example, Omni Man. This move is really good with Omni Man because of the overhead low mix up. Um, it's like I don't use Metallic super often with Omni Man, but when I do i'm doing this quite a bit it's like a it's like a pseudo kun lao hat it's it's pretty gnarly 
Um, there's also like the anti-air. The anti-air is okay for stuff like that. Mo most of this stuff, I'm gonna be honest, most of the metallic cancels are used for combos and I almost never see crystalline cancels ever. If I'm being real with you guys, I almost never see people cancel into the armor ever. So, fair warning, most of the cancels are for combo stuff, but you can use them for pressure. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for today's trimmer guide. If you enjoyed, please do me a huge favor and leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. I'm uploading daily Mortal Kombat videos, and we're doing a new series on my channel called Flounder Fridays. We'll be playing a variety game every single Friday. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Um, I am live every single day on my Twitch channel, linked in the description below. Uh, so follow me up there if you would like to. I also have a Discord server where we're doing uh, tournaments, stuff like that normal discord server stuff if that interests you come join the best community on twitch and on youtube with that being said thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed peace out